first time that we've seen a three-man rush be effective in sacking the quarterback. Were you guys able to identify some common denominator, what was going on there? Yeah, we just, again, we our technique wasn't where it needed to be, you know, in certain areas, so we just got to keep working it, you know, in terms of that. I think that's more than, more than anything what it came down to, and I give UW credit. They had some guys make some plays. And, uh, you know, we just got to get better, you know, in terms of that. We all do. I mean, I have to get better. We all have to get better. We have to find uh, different ways to, to be able to put a defense on their heels. And that's something we have to do as an offense, and that starts with me as a coordinator. So we're working on that. But the guys are, again, I, I, I love this group, and they're out here competing today on a short week, coming off getting home at 5 in the morning on Saturday, and they're right back at it, you know, as we get going. And, uh, you know, they're competing to go after this one. So... Uh, excited, excited about this short week, and Friday will be here. You always want it to come quicker, too, after a tough loss. You, you, you want to feel like uh, you want to play the next day. You know, just you want that taste out of your mouth. But the guys are fighting. They know it's a process towards Friday and uh, solid practice today. So Derek and, and Zion get a lot of reps, particularly in the second half. It, w w was that just, hey, we want to get them more in there, or, or was Pat not able to go? Yeah, Pat, uh, I don't want to talk specifically about injuries, but he wasn't in a position to play at that time. So, yeah, the combination. And, you know, talk to all of them today, too. You know, we're just we're going to need all hands on deck. So it was good. It was good for them to get those reps. It was good for them, you know, because they haven't had a lot of reps in their career obviously and uh you know and, and and again we'll need every healthy player on offense as we go forward with these you know the second half of the season at the last three games yards have gone down points have gone down that has to drive you oh it drives nuts. me crazy absolutely but it drives all these guys crazy it drives anyone's crazy who's a competitor you know and i told him that i go that was hard it was hard to feel that you know but you give credit to you know to uw and what they did and then but you analyze the heck out of what you're doing and we all analyze what we're doing and figure out ways to to be better coming into this week and every year is a little bit different i get that i mean i've had different i've had you know years where i can you know certain things go a certain way and certain things don't but every year though you got to find ways to grow from the you know from the midpoint of the season towards the end of the season regardless of any other factors and and that's where we're at right now we got to find ways to grow during this second half of the season as an offense no matter where exactly our points per game end up yards per game whatever that might be we got to find ways to grow and uh, those guys are hungry to do that we were out there today you know grinding on that and they did a good job specifically in, in terms of the running game that that seems to have gone gone a little bit downhill yeah. too what, what have you seen out there's of there? a lot of things i mean i don't think people realize when you go on the road in loud stadiums and you go silent count that changes your running game so you when you really think about our first four games mm -hmm. and our last two and you know and on top of that the opponent you're playing it's it, it's two weeks in a row where you know it, it's not as easy to run the ball you see it when NFL teams go up to Seattle. Mm -hmm. It's harder to do when you're in silent count mode and you're in that, that type of situation. So does that make excuse? No. But if you were to ask me what are the toughest situations to run the ball, it's when you're not working, you know, on a count. So that's where you got to be that much better with your technique. And that's where, but there were still opportunities there and we'll be in those moments again. So we have to understand, hey, when we're in those moments again, how are we going to attack it better? What are we going to do to be better in these situations? But you know, that's as much as anything. The combination of the defenses we were playing along with that situation, I think, added to things that were, you know, a little bit tougher. What specific things have you identified that Ross can do better, and how's he doing in practice this week? Yeah, I just think he has to, again, trust trust being in that cocoon of a pocket, you know, because that's what it is. I mean, you, you as a quarterback, you have to trust that you're going to operate in tight spaces, you know, and a few times, you know, he, he got himself a little bit out, outside of that when he didn't need to. Does you he know? need to step up more? Or? Yeah, just step up or just slide or a lot of times just stay right where you're at, mm -hmm. you know, because sometimes he's almost moving, you know, can move into it. So that's one thing. And Coach Dewey does a great job with, with that and identifying that. But that's something that you notice in certain games where he's had success, he's done a really good job of being in there. And sometimes when things have gone, you know, a little south that way, he, he kind of hasn't trusted. So he's got to trust that. He's got to believe that. And he's got to just, you know, again, trust his progressions and his reads and just, you know, not try and do too much. You know, and I'm not saying he did that in that game, but you know, when he's at his best, he's just calmly going through, you know, those things. But again, you know, you, uh, that guy is fighting, he's competing, he's getting hit in the mouth, he's getting, you know, he's 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 a competitive, tough, you know, you know, and and uh, so I have nothing but respect for how he plays the game. We just have to get get him to a level, you know, to where he's growing every week and continuously getting better, and that's that's our job. And the sacks 
often are a result of a bunch of things not working right. They always Is that are. what's going on here? Oh, yeah. The sacks. line, him, receivers, the whole thing? Absolutely. Sacks are never. I mean, people want to pin sacks on the line, just like you want to give credits to all interceptions to the secondary. But they're not. You know, things are happening sometimes up front or on the back end that involve that. You hear the term coverage sack, or you hear the term, you know, in terms of where a quarterback, you know, didn't change the protection or he slid in. And there's a lot of things outside of the offensive line that lead to that. So, yes, it's a combination for all of us to uh, to improve. We all improve playing 11 man football. We'll, uh, we'll be better in that department. How has Ross responded this week and how's he practiced? And also, how's Chase practiced? Uh, he's responded well. And Chase has practiced very well, too. I mean, it's uh, it's been a shorter week. So, we, you know, and, and Chase necessarily didn't get quite, you know, a ton of reps, but the reps he has, he's, he's operated well. And uh, Ross has responded like he always does. He always comes out, he's ready to go, he's locked in, and uh, and had a you know really good Tuesday, which is kind of like a Wednesday for us this week, so it gets on you quick. Do you think that the amount of times he's been hit, and I don't know the, the percentage of, of snaps he's taken a hit on because the camera generally cuts away, but the amount of times he's just been hit has, has chipped away at him a little bit, maybe taken a toll? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, you know, it's it's human nature that maybe your body is going to get sore and you're going to feel it a little bit. Yeah, that part of it. But in terms of mentally how he handles it, I don't. I mean, the guy gets back up. The guy comes to the sideline. He talks about things. He doesn't he doesn't worry about it, you know, and that's just that's, you know, I appreciate that a lot. So, um, but physically, yeah, can that slow you down a little bit? Can that you know, start to make you feel sore where you don't have maybe some of the same. Yeah, I mean, it's going to do that to anybody. So, uh, but, but you know, that's part of football. You're always going to feel a little bit worse now than you did game one. I mean, it's just kind of how it goes. When you see Hercules Mata Afa mm -hmm. on tape, what, what do you see? He's impressive. He, he impressive. He, I mean, his, he uh, moves. I mean, obviously he's undersized for the position, but he does not let that take away from him being a really, really good football player. I mean, just the slipperiness, the quickness, the and just the ability to get off things. It's uh, it's impressive. Got a lot of respect for how he plays the game. In your career, you've had a lot of games over 90 plays for the offense, sometimes over 100. Have you ever been anywhere near 52 plays in a game? I don't, I, yeah, I mean, it's it's happened at some point. I mean, not as much recently, but you know what? It's, it's part of you go through things and you see a lot of different things in football and and sometimes you go through moments like that so so yes it, to answer your question not very often but i think at some point there were you know i i can think back to a few games that felt a little like that at times and you know you you grind you come back and figure it out and and get after it the next week. Uh, Washington State has 21 sacks on the year. How do, how do they get pressure? How do they create pressure? Uh, a few different ways. I mean, they have a lot of movement up front, um, you know, and they'll bring, you know, certain pressures. They dial things up. But I, I just think, honestly, they do a, they do a really good job with uh, just winning in certain one-on-one -on -one battles as much as anything. I mean, yeah, they create confusion sometimes and get a guy free, but a lot of times the guy's accounted for and he wins. He wins, you know, in terms of with whoever is set to block him. Or on the other side, like we talked about and hit on, they're doing a good job in the secondary too. So they'll, uh, you know, they'll lock some guys up and they'll plaster some receivers in terms of, you know, they've got them all locked up and that can force a QB sometimes to hold it a little longer. So they're going to play press, they're going to play back? A little bit of both. Yeah, a little bit of both. They mix it up pretty good. It does a really good job, so we'll see both. We got to be ready for we got to be ready for everything in that regard. You got to face them last year. What's how much has changed between how they defend from year to year? I think they look faster. I do. I think right now they look faster than when we played them at the first game of the year last year. Um, they're playing. Uh, they, they, you know, they're they're moving a little bit more too. You know, just certain things they're doing up front with certain movements, but, uh, and they're, you know, the, when, you, when you're at that point, you know, that was game one, you never know with game ones, you know, how they're gonna go. Right now it's game six for them. So they're playing with a lot of confidence and they're they're doing things well. So you, you can see that, you can see them playing with that confidence. So those would be the things that I think, you know, you notice on film that are a little bit different than, you know, uh, last year, game one. Can their defense play a certain way knowing that they got an offense that's gonna put points on the board and they can play more aggressively? Oh yeah, they can. I mean, yeah, there is there is some of that. I mean, you you you. I mean, you mirror up your team that way, right. you know, and do certain things to say, okay, shoot, you know, even if we give up some some scores, we still know we're going to answer. Yeah, you you can play that way, certainly. Um, I just I, I have I think they'd probably play that way anyway. That's just kind of how they're built, you know. No matter what their offense was doing, they're just they're just wired, you know. And 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 I know the co coordinator does a great job with. You know just how he sets things up and how he calls the game, but I think they're just wired to play that style of football, regardless of what was happening on the other right. side. There's a change.